today I'm going to be showing you how to make my Scotty Barnes build in the NBA 2K24, man. This build is truly a three level threat and y'all going to see why in this video. But hold on, if y'all could do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe and turn on post notifications to the channel so you can be notified when I post. And let's get into it. So you want to make them small four, six, seven, 225 pounds and a seven, three wingspan. Now that 7-3 wingspan is definitely going to be deadly and on top of that you're going to have a lot of finishing, a lot of shooting, y'all going to see. So basically you want to start off with the close shot 61 for the driving layup, you want to put that all the way up to an 80. For the driving dunk you want to put that up to an 83 and for the standing dunk you want to put that up to an 80 so that way you can get some good standing dunk animations and possibly the contacts as well. Now, this is all you need for the finishing. Very basic, very easy and simple, man. Look at this. I'm in the clips going crazy, dunking on all my defenders. They can't do anything about it. Now, the best thing about the finishing is that because you have an 80 sanded dunk, you're going to get up there quite easily and nobody's going to be able to really stop you, depending on if you get a contact or not. Now, because you have an 83 driving dunk, you want to be getting up there pretty easily. Having an 83 driving dunk will allow you to get certain contact animations because you do have posterizing with bronze. And on top of that, if you get slashing takeover, you're going to be getting it with ease. As y'all can see, I'm dunking on both of these defenders, knock both of them to the ground, which is kind of crazy. I'm running on the offense. I dunk right over his head top. Listen. Now, there is a other version that you can go with. If you want a higher driving dunk, all you have to do is just drop your driving layup to a 75 and put your driving dunk to an 86 so you can get silver posterizer if you feel like 83 is not good enough, but you will still be able to finish around the rim with it. So that's just a suggestion for me. So if y'all really want to go with a higher driving dunk, you can. So that's up to y'all. But... These layup animations are very tough, as y'all can see in these clips. I have slash and takeover. I'm pushing my defender out the way. Bro, I'm telling y'all, man, it gets real devious in that paint. This is why it's a Scotty Barnes build, because he can definitely finish well and shoot the midi and everything. And I'm going to show y'all why. Now we're going to move on to the shooting. So basically for the mid-range, you want to go ahead and give yourself an 85. Yes, an 85 mid-range. And max out that three ball to an 80 and put your free throw to a 71. Now, obviously having an 83 ball, you're going to be hitting consistently, especially if you have your hot zones. And if you get that takeover, you basically have a 99.3. Now, on top of that, having an 85 mid-range, you're going to be hitting middies very consistently. And on top of that, you'll have gold midi magician. Yes, bro. Gold midi magician. That badge is very tough this year, man. It allows you to make your shots in the mid-range area consistently and efficiently. So you shouldn't be missing that much, to be honest. And if you're like a spot-up shooter, you really can just spot up with this player, as y'all can see in some of these clips. This play right here. I pull up in the mid-range. Easy green, bro. I was open, and I took this shot. Now, as y'all can see, I'm spotting up, wide open in the corner, green bean chicken wing. Let's go, bro. That's what I'm talking about. You can be a spot up if you need to, or you can create your own shot. In the mid range, I take a pull up dribble and green bean chicken wing. Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to the playmaking. So, obviously, for the playmaking, you want to go ahead and start off with the pass accuracy and put that all the way up to a 76, man. A 76 pass accuracy. For the ball handle, you want to go ahead and put that all the way up to an 80. Five and for the speed with ball, you want to put that up to a 77. Now, listen, as y'all can see in these clips, you can obviously dribble, but the passes will not be slow. Like I say in most of my videos, all you need on a guard or a small forward or any type of position that you can dribble on, all you need for the pass accuracy is at least a 75 and up. I would like to aim for the 76 only because you can get an extra badge off of it. So really try and get that 76 mark. And plus on top of that, the passes will not be slow at all. As y'all can see in these clips, passing easily to my teammate that's wide open. You know, just quick dots. Y'all really shouldn't have a problem as far as like passing and stuff. And of course, of the dribbling, you will definitely be able to combo up easily i mean like it's not that hard to dribble on taller guards this year 
So y'all should be very fine as far as when it comes to dribble moves or trying to get yourself open. As long as you have Gatorade or like, you know, your workouts done, you should be fine as far as not losing stamina fast. And yeah, so I'm just showing y'all these clips of me passing, you know, just giving the ball to my teammates and just trying to show y'all that the passes is not slow. I'm throwing the ball down court, easy pass easy assist for me and it was an easy bucket for my teammate look i'm comboing up right here in this clip i hit him with the spin pass to my teammate that's wide open on the wing green bean chicken wing let's go now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the defense so the defense is kind of like it's not bad but it's not the greatest but it still will get the job done so for the interior do you want to put that up to a 72 for the perimeter you want to put that up to an 80 for the steal you only want to have a 40 and for the block, you want to go ahead and put that all the way up to a 79. Hey, you get a 79 block. That's pretty decent in my opinion. For the offensive rebound, you want to go ahead and put that up to a 60. And for defensive rebound, you want to put that up to a 70. So that way you can get rebound chase on bronze at least. So yeah, bro, this is it for the defense. I mean, it's not really that much to show. I haven't really got that much defensive clips, but as y'all can see, he's trying to get off the court. I pushed him out of bounds. Hey, that's that 80 perimeter D. Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to the physicals. You want to give yourself an 82 speed, 78 acceleration. For the strength, you actually want to go ahead and put that up to a 74. Yes, a 74 strength so you can get bronze, bulldozer. And for the vertical, you want to put that up to a 75 so that way you can get the good dunk animations and for the stamina you want to go ahead and just max that all the way out to a 96 now this is it for the physicals and i'm going to show y'all the reason why i think this might be one of the best builds in my opinion because look at this it's very balanced you can do everything that you need dribble shoot play make and dunk i'll also be able to play somewhat defense i mean come on now here's the shades that you get and on top of that, you get the Scotty Barnes shade. Look at that. Tracy McGrady, Jaden McDaniels. And you have built a three-level threat. Yes, a three-level threat. Very basic, but that's what he is, a three-level threat. And like I said, y'all get the Scotty Barnes shade and Tracy McGrady. Like, come on now. That's a dub. Now, this is the end of the video, and I just want to say that I appreciate all y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, why don't you like, comment, subscribe? We is on that grind at 20k subs, and I'm out.